Ne! <laughs> Mami! Where is mom? They also traveled alongside my daughter. Hello, daughter. That's the project I'm doing. I'll let you guys, I'll take you guys through it. Maybe not today, but let me know if you're interested. I feel like I've done a couple of videos of the house and just giving the idea. But if there are new subscribers who are still interested to see, I'm happy to show you guys. But we want to continue the project. Thanks to your support and to everyone who's prayed and encouraged us to continue building, sharing, and inspiring. So, from Nairobi, amazingly, this famous thing, you know this guy, this, this guy, eh? This famous car. A lot of people look at this car and they think it's old. Only me and my people know the power of this car. So we <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a lot of people are saying I'm happy in Nairobi before I begin. So it just reminded me that uh, my videos are actually, I think I have an intimate relationship with my viewers that I do my videos, particularly for my viewers. Uh, but I was reminded by a new viewer uh, from the UK. Thank you very much. He told me, please start your videos by introducing yourself. With that being said, I am Victor. Victor's with Victor, if you like. <laughs> as as um, mentioned in this channel. And welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new here, please just remember to hit that subscribe button. I'm very grateful. After 5,000... Uh, we've been having um, an immense growth in subscribers and I'm very grateful. Welcome everybody who is continuing to subscribe and for the new subscribers you're also welcome. Um, I've not been doing as much videos uh, from my transition to Europe because I needed time for myself and for family as well. So, which has really sucked, and for work as well. For work as well, I was uh, very flopped. <laughs> All these sounds almost tell you where I am. Without continuing with this video, please guess where I'm at. But yeah, it's um, a very exciting day. It's a very beautiful day, and I'm very happy to be where I am. Like I was saying, from Europe, it was a lot. And for everybody who watched this all the way through to 5,000 subscribers, I think you, I hope and I, I believe you agree with me. It was a lot for um, an old man like me. <laughs> and I'm very grateful that I was back in Kenya. That was a lot. 17 countries in Europe. Um, so I came back to, there are so many reasons why I've been slowing down on videos. And also... Um, I feel like for me, uh, it's about because I'm, I'm, I'm about one year old on YouTube um, and I really want to do purposeful videos. I really want to bring purposeful videos and after one, video, one year, I feel like it's time for transition. Let me know what you guys think and what your take is on the transition and what should I transition into. Uh, other than traveling around Africa, which next year would be a priority. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this, you know where I'm at. I'm in the village. <laughs> this is my village. This is where my umbilical cord was buried. So, what happens for us, as I'm from the Luo community, so I'm Luo, the tribe of uh, Obama's father. The tribe of Lupita Nyong'o, or uh, the tribe of um, who else do you guys know from the Luo who, or is an international figure? Well, yeah, so I'm from the Luo, and the Luo are uh, basically subdivided into how many groups? Joka Jok, Joka Molo, Joko Win, and uh, let us know if you know that. I need to dig more into my history. I know it. But uh, yeah, I need to really get into it. So this is my mother's farm. This is our farm, like our home. And it's, uh, the land stretches all the way to <laughs> where the goat is. Uh, this is where my mom, we call it Orundu. Orundu is like basically 
always in every season whether we farm outside the home this 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 shamba or this garden has to be farmed i had a maze you can see they just they just my mom just um cultivated me just she just harvested but also she has passion fruit here and uh we also have uh, popo here, there's a nursery. My mom is always creating stuff. So this is my home, and I'm in the village to get the tranquility. So I'm around tranquil. This was our first house before we had this house. So this is part of the reason why I'm here. A few weeks ago, weirdly, just around my village, Nyakach is huge, but just around my village, there was, there were, huge hailstorms if you watch the kenyan news it's only in my village that this happened like they were like these stones this size of stones raining around my village for almost 30 minutes it destroyed for the old iron sheets it destroyed them also uh for the people who had some stuff outside it really destroyed a lot of things and for me that spoke to me I don't know. Maybe my village people need to repent. We need to repent. So this is my mom's main house. And uh, this is my favorite house. Now they have goat inside. I don't know if I should take you guys in so you can see. Let me know in the comment section. I'm still here so I can give you uh, more of a tour either inside the house. My mom's house is huge. I don't know if you can see from there. All the way to that way. It's like a city house in the, in the village and it's very nice. She has electricity. Look, she even, even has a TV. This is even rare to many people actually, even in, in Nairobi. In Kibera we live in 10 by 10s. So this is so beautiful. I like how my mom gets creative with flowers and all these plants she's planting. Mommy! Mommy! Where's mom? And I also traveled alongside my daughter. Hello, daughter. Daughter. Hello. Daughter. <laughs> hey, I'm gold. For real, I'm all. If my daughter is this heavy. Yeah, I traveled alongside my daughter. What's your name? Tell people your name. That's really Onyango. Who is Onyango? Uh, you. <laughs> and who is Mary? Yeah, Show me Mary. Huh? You're not supposed to call parents with their name. Let me call my mom with her name. Let's see again. Mary? Mary? Mary. <laughs> Mary. Mary. <laughs> that's, that, that's a typical African mom's reaction. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Who is Mary? That's my mom, guys. That's my lovely mom, and this is also my mom. You guys have met both my moms. This mom of mine doesn't have teeth. Hello, mama. Say hello to our Hello. Girl. Did you miss them? Yes. What do you have in store for them? Uh -uh, they have so, mom, I was telling people about the hailstorms that were dropping a few weeks ago, and it only happened in my village. Mm. The stones that were raining, you remember? Uh -huh. Why did it happen only in our village? Uh, not in our village only, but in our area. Yeah, village area. In area. Yeah. I don't know. I think I was telling them it's because you guys are sinners and God wants you to yeah. repent. Uh, we have already repent. Amen. Mm. So guys, that's my mom. But I'm going to show you. So this is my <laughs> second born brother's house. That's my first born brother's house. And that's my house. The project I've been doing, I'm here to continue it. Uh, but oh, Dvidat, you are telling my viewers something. What do you want to tell them? Do you love the village? Yeah. Why do you love the village? Because... Hold me, hold me. Why do you love the village? You have cuckoos. <laughs> you have chicken. You have this girl loves chicken, and my mom make, cooks her chicken every time we come here. So she's spoiled. You only come here for chicken, eh? Not for shosh. We like come here for shosh. 
You even come here for sure. Thank you. Let me continue doing the view. Audrey, is there anything you want to tell our viewers? What do you want to tell them? Loudly, they can't hear you. Subscribe yeah? to this video and make sure to have a thumbs up. Subscribe to this video and make sure to have a thumbs up. Have a thumbs up for my daughter. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay? All right, I'm going to, if you want to take them around with me, you can come. Yeah, so like I was saying, that's the project I'm doing. I'll let you guys, I'll take you guys through it. Maybe not today, but let me know if you're interested. I feel like I've done a couple of videos of the house and just giving the idea. But if there are new subscribers who are still interested to see, I'm happy to show you guys. But we want to continue the project. Thanks to your support and to everyone who's prayed and encouraged us to continue building, sharing, and inspiring. So, from Nairobi, amazingly, this famous thing, you know this guy, this, this guy, eh? This famous car. A lot of people look at this guy and they think it's old. Only me and my people know the power of this car. So we came all the way from Nairobi. Six I know 3,360 kilometers. I don't know what that translates into miles. Come closer so they can hear me. I don't know what that translates into miles, but 360 something, 360 plus kilometers with this machine. It was raining and it's crazy. So I got a little bit stuck somewhere outside there, but we eventually brought it into the home in good condition, good shape. We didn't stop anywhere all the way 360 kilometers probably not a good idea yeah but i don't know what you guys want to experience in the village i'm happy to share with you guys and i'm also happy to be in the village as well those are my mom this is papti i think i introduced you my mom's only goat no now there are two mommy papti has a a, a a a baby goat yeah uh yeah now there are two but also mom my mom loves uh, sheep so we're gonna slaughter one my mom's sheep. Ma mommy, which sheep are we slaughtering? Oh. Let's just put it in our feet. We, we did agree to slaughter any, but I know she'd be open to do it because she's happy to have us here. But also, interestingly, what I wanted to get your insight about, guys. So this is my mom's house view from this side. If you want her to tour, I've done it, but I don't mind doing it. Let me know in the comment section as well if you want me to do it. But what bothers me is, uh, so we got this paint, and this paint is supposed to be water resistant. And I came back to this. So I don't know what's happening. Ideally, what I'm thinking, yeah, this is, this is, this is what I was telling you. This is what the hellstorms, I think they're called hellstorms, I'm not sure. But this is what it did. Yeah, I'm careful because my place near catch is known for snakes. So you'll randomly meet snakes somewhere, anywhere. So this is what it did. This is what I'm supposed to be using for the um, uh, the sewer line into the um, septic tank. So this is what the stones did to me. Just bring it up so they can see. This is what it did to me. This is the only loss we went through as a home and as a family so ladies and gentlemen you can imagine if the, it was breaking these pipes like this you can imagine how strong it was yeah and um yeah so what i was telling you ideally what i'm thinking is to do a scatting a tiling scatting it looks to me like a poor mixture of ballast and sand here and then i don't know maybe find a better let me know ideas that you guys would embrace in such a situation where it's raining come closer. so that's my mom's car yeah it's it's really bad and i don't like this was a scatting so in my place one of the most expensive things is the foundation of the house i think it's the craziest thing like building a house is no problem like my project you can show them i feel like it's over already it's over and complete you might be asking why because it's uh, where it's left it's not like yeah it's still gonna be a bit costly but it's not extremely costly as it would have been if it was a foundation that has not because uh, our place the land is a bit cracky when it dries up come closer it's a bit cracky when it dries up 
and uh, so you have to dig a foundation of up to 100 centimeters and so it becomes a quite expensive if you want to build a house like that like my my foundation went deeper deeper so it's quite expensive to start a foundation out here but i mean it's working out yeah i don't want to talk much but i'm really happy and i wanted to share the excitement so i'm going to be in the village for a few more days uh just to experience the tranquility the peace the nature the love and everything look at my mom hiding <laughs> <laughs> yeah but ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys want me to share if it's history anything i'm very open to sharing stuff about my village yes mommy <laughs> this is medicinal yeah mm. more no no, no. Huh? it is just a plant ah it's a plant mm. yeah so guys this is my village this is my mom and um i'm here i made it sound and see so subscribe. until I see you guys in the next video, my mom is saying subscribe. So remember to hit that subscribe button and share as well. <laughs> until I see you guys in the next video, I'll share with you guys my prog progress of my house. And also, if you guys want a tour and you feel like it would inspire, the reason I share and share is because it inspires as well. And uh, so I see what young people are doing. I mean, it was not very natural of my mom's generation. And she can, she can also tell us. Uh, in mostly in their generation people would come back to the village when they were growing older Sindio. and so it was not a very normal thing for somebody at my age to start building like a project like this mm -hmm. and so that's why i'm sharing with my subscribers and also young people so we can inspire them why is it that people your generation were never very come close they believe in which doctors and they witchcraft, are witchcraft. So and they will be killed. They reached, oh. mm. So that's why you guys were never building? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But why is it now that they are not witchcraft? Ah, God is there. <laughs> is people that... believe, nowadays, people believe in God and if you believe surely in God, uh -huh. you will be just alright. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. So now you guys, the, I mean, cultural difference and also mm. generational differences is something that is huge. So this is one of the things, notable differences about the generations that I've noticed. Also in my village, before we started building my mom's house, there was no one with such a house. And so it was a huge um, step. And so, I mean, breaking generational yoke is, um, curses and yokes is something that I talk about every day. Let us know where you at and what are some of the beliefs or generational uh, transitions that you've seen in your life and yes that was about it for today in the village i wanted to introduce you guys to my village and to let you know i had a safe journey home and peace guys until i see in the next video please remember to hit that subscribe button drop a comment on the comment section and peace guys